Hey, what is up guys? It's your boy Kingdom Soldier and I'm back again with another commentary and Soldier says if you can at all costs put other people before yourself. What I want to talk to you guys about today is the X Games has officially been announced. It was leaked accidentally a couple days ago that MLG was going to be at the X Games. So MLG put together an announcement. The X Games also announced it that it's not just going to be Call of Duty, but it's also going to be Dota 2 that is going to be at the X Games in Austin in June this summer. And Adam Apicella went on Twitter and made sure he cleared things up because a lot of people were saying, well, it's just going to be another X Games. The only thing is the gold medal. Well, Adam cleared it up in his tweet, and I'll put it on the screen for you guys. It says, to be clear, there will be $75,000, the trophy, and X Game medals on the line for Call of Duty at the X Games. It is the finals of Season 2. And so what that means is what we speculated when they released this big, huge $650,000 in prize prizes coming up that they were talking about for the rest of the year is that the finals of Season 2 of the online COD League is going to be at the LAN, which is the X game. So it is an invitational, but invitations will be given to the top eight teams in the COD League, which means TCM, a team that just came from the EU, could be playing at the X Games this year. I immediately went to look for the roster lock for the league season two because I've been I've been speculating that after champs there's going to be some roster changes, especially for an organization like Envious, who is right now I believe like 10th or 11th in the COD League. Uh, they're not doing the greatest. They're three and seven uh, going into the break for COD champs. But on the other side of COD champs. We all know they're playing for money, and there's nothing that separates friendships, marriages, uh, even parents and kids. There's nothing that separates people more than money problems, and if someone messes with your money, you're like, deuces. And so I'm anticipating that a team like Envious, if they don't place like top three at COD Champs, there's going to be some, a roster change. So I went to look for the deadline. The deadline for roster changes, it started March 5th, and it goes all the way to April 29th. That's how long they have to make changes and to trade people and to go from here to there to everywhere. Roster Mania is coming. After this weekend that's about to come up right now, you're going to see tweets. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you're going to start to see those uh, blah. We have officially released blah from our team. And then you're going to see blah has officially joined this organization. You're going to see changes. You're going to see a lot of movement. And think about this. SB, Revenge, and Phase Black cannot play at the X Games. Those three teams are not even in the COD League, so they don't even have a chance to play at X Games. So I'm still speculating that those players are going to make their way onto league teams. There's no way that Apathy and Sensor and Proofy and Study and John and Fizzerp and Neslo, there's no way that these dudes are going to sit at the side and not even try to get a chance at winning a gold medal. And some people may think it doesn't matter because it's not that serious. And it's a freaking gold medal. Who wouldn't want to wear a gold medal around their neck? A lot of people are speculating on Twitter, is it going to be, you know, Nade Shot and Scumpy 2, two Chains or something like that? I guess technically you could really, you know, be called 2 Chains because you have 2 gold medal chains. Anyway, <laughs> you guys let me know in the comment section below what you think about this decision to do the Season 2 playoffs at the X Games. Basically, when X Games tweeted out the MLG update, they tagged Nadeshot, Crim6, Optic Gaming, and I believe Scumpy. In, they only tagged eight people. And they tagged the Optic Gaming organization, Nadeshot, Scump, and Crim. They tagged all of them. So they're pretty sure that like the rest of us, that Optic is going to make it. They're 7-1 and one right now in the league. They're up by like three games on Justice Pro and the other two teams that are tied for second. Uh, anyway, this is your boy, Kingdom Soldier. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, what you think about X Games, if you're excited about it, and who you'd like to see somehow make their way or, in the words of some of the players, snake their way. Uh, Imbo said that when he came on the, the 1v1, snake their way into the league. Uh, before you guys leave, I do want to announce that we have a shirt and a hoodie that just came out for the Sticks Live. Uh, check out the links in the description if you guys want to get one. It's only a three-week uh, campaign that's already two days in. And so we got about two and a half weeks left. If you guys want to pick up one of those, let me know. Uh, and tell me, tweet at me when you've got one so that I can retweet. And thank you. This is your boy, Kingdom Soldier. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.